Good day, people. This is the part three of the Game Engine from Scratch series, and I hope that you all are doing absolutely well. Now, today we're going to talk about CMake and why we need it, and what is the scope of this thing in our project. So, if we look into our project right now, this only has the source files right now. This has no project configurations, no nothing. Like, if somebody clones this project from our GitHub repo, they will not know how to build it if they're using a Microsoft compiler like MSVC. Uh, they'll just open up Visual Studio, make a new project in this uh, folder, and uh, add these source, include all of the source file in their project, and then they can build it. But if they're in GCC, they'll have to use some other compiler options to include all of these source files and have some header files and compile those objects and link those and then have the full game engine. This is a long and tedious process. To automate all of these processes, we need a build system. And earlier I used to use Premake but now i've grown out of it and i don't like how much coding goes into it because we have to code all configs and everything but yes it comes with way less bloat we have like two extra targets like all build and zero check if we build using cmake for visual studio but that's okay but the thing is we don't have to write much code we just have to say include this folders and link these libraries and add this executable and it just works so that's why we're gonna use cmake now what cmake requires us is a cmake list file and it should be written as it is and by the way if you need the reference of cmake you can just go here at cmake help just visit cmake and you will see this and so let's get started. Let's open our command prompt and open code in this folder, VS Code. And we're going to make a new file. And it should be exactly like this. Now, one thing we need is the CMake version. So this is the minimum required version. Here you can put any arbitrary version you like. Suppose you're using some feature set of CMake that requires that minimum version. So you can use that version for now for compatibility. We're just going to leave it to 3.6, which is absolutely fine. And next things are we're going to set the compiler flags. One of them is going to be that we're going to set the C++ standard to 14, which is like a standard in Visual Studio set 19 and 22, I guess. I'm not sure. And then we say that the standard is required to true. That forces CMake to... Uh, the forces compiler to use the standard we set. We say this is on. And lastly, we set all the extensions, all the extra compiler flags to be off. Because uh, sometimes we can pass some extensions and stuff. The compiler does it for you. So we're just saying don't do any of that stuff. Here we define our project name and now our project starts. So we're going to add one thing and it's like in boolean for if we want to build it on windows we set it to true. But if all we're saying it's going to be true because we're in windows machine it will be easier. I mean just one option gone. So we're just going to have this default as on. And this just works like a boolean if this is off then that thing is false and then we can have to include targets and all of these things for the linux operating system because we only really sub only support two operating systems now because it's a boolean we can use if and else if so if the platform is windows we can use something like a list we can have a list of all the includes and all the libraries that we want for our if the platform is our windows platform we need to include all of the files under this platform windows folder okay so we will do just that and also the other thing is that we need two libraries to access the win32 api and that is gdi32 and user32 so we're also going to append that and the other thing is in our code right now we all only have this windows window 
but like how do we know if the platform is window we can just add this platform window as a define uh, as a predefined thing if this is on so we will just have this thing like define platform underscore windows if that boolean was on okay so we'll also include that now if our platform is linux we can just include all the files under this linux folder and i'm using platform sorry so let's have platforms here and this should be src okay good and when we're building for linux we're using x11 window framework now we need to add all the source files that we have and in here we will add all of these files and earlier we used to have some glob or something i don't remember the name it was glob i guess which included all the files for us but the thing with that is every time you compile uh, all the files have to recompile so to manually uh, define all the files that we're going to include it's way faster in compilation so we're just going to do that We can also do like we can also make a list of source files and we can say that append only Linux window if it's a Linux platform. So let's just do that. Now we can add an executable of our project name and include all the source files. Now, because if you're using MSVC as a compiler, you'll have three projects, like three build targets, like which will be all build on zero check. Zero check is used for regeneration and all build just builds everything for you. So we need to set a property to make this target as the starter project for our VS project, you know. So for that, we use this. So we're setting a property in this directory and the property is VS starter project and it will be set to this project name. Okay. And our executable will be named as this project name too. Now we're going to add the compile definitions. And uh, if the platform was window, we added this to the compile definitions. So we can just target that. And the other compile definition I want is something which returns an string, which just tells us the project directory. So if we want to search like where this asset is in our project and we cannot have that relative path because it depends on compiler to compiler so we can have a macro which tells us where this project lies in our system and we just append that to the file that we need like we need to access some texture so we just say the project directory and then append that with src assets and texture name and we can access everything that way Now this public and this public modifier is just like how it is in C++ when we inherit and when we define things in a class. So this public just means that all the other target libraries or like executables that are going to use this will have access to all of these compile devs and this project directory macro and the other two are like private which means that only this target can have access to this compile dev and this and there's also interface which means that uh, except this target everything else will have the access to that library now we'll add our include directories and then we'll link our libraries and that is all for our cmake file this project name here just means for which project we want to do all of this so now our cmake list is completed now we just have to build so if we open our command prompt the one way to do it is using cmake gui and of course you need to have cmake installed in your system and you can check for that using cmake version and i have the version 3.25 uh, and uh, i also have cmake GUI. 
So now if I just say my source code is here, like the CMake list file, I just click on configure. You can see this gives me the option here and I can just build using this or I can just say this sets the target like where the source file is the CMake list file and this tells us where to build it. So we're going to build it in bin and if you want to switch off the platform lin platform windows and your linux you can add this option so to add options we use d but we'll leave this because we are on windows now our project file has been here in bin so let's open our project now you can see this is our startup project and if you run it works and this is our game now let's just add this to github let's have a git ignore file and uh, ignore this bin directory now let's just push our project to github wait i messed up here so now we don't see that bin folder and we're only gonna push cmake lists thank you so much for watching and you can see that we have our cmake list file and also our git ignore file so this is just the basics and in the next video we're gonna make a windows window and after that we're gonna make a linux window and after that we'll have a whole event manager and like input system going on so take care guys have fun and hope this video helped you with cmake basics i mean i didn't explain that much but i'm a shitty teacher what can i say thank you so much for watching